Ooh, a force field. Can it lift me up into the sky? Nope. All right, well then, worthless. Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Reverse Rebirth, if you want to throw that in there. We're playing as Riku, baby. We're continuing on our story in the abridged version of this playthrough because I don't want to show every little tidbit in this playthrough. I don't want this LP to be a million episodes. I said it enough last time. Anyways, in this episode, we're going up, up to the next floor. Or rather, I'm, I'm guessing... Well, are we going up from the basement or down into the basement? Why do you shun the darkness? Oh, shit. The voice is talking to us again. <laughs> Come on, I know you heard me. Every word I said to Maleficent. Darkness is your weapon. It is time you learned you must accept it. What do you mean? Stop resisting. Accept the darkness. You have no choice. Uh-oh. Wait, what? <gasps> if you are to serve me again... It is Ansem's voice. I thought it was you, Ansem. Dun-dun-dun. Oh, you don't seem surprised. All you have been talking about is the darkness. I can only assume you want to pull me back in so you can play Puppet Master. Clever boy. I knew you'd be the one to most appropriately serve me. And now, surrender to me again. You're crazy! You're crazy! Not a chance. Oh yeah. shit, we're gonna fight Ansem first? Ah. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Did you really think you could do me harm? Had to try, man. A weakling man. like you couldn't even defeat Sora, and you had darkness on your side. Uh, uh, oh, excuse me for being weak. Excuse you me, are princess. weak. You need darkness. Surrender. Bow to darkness. Bow to me. I bow to no man. That's not gonna happen. Only the darkness can offer to you all of the strength that you will need. You're wrong. What? <gasps> You're wrong. Guess who? That voice. Yeah, buddy. Your Majesty. That's right. Remember, Riku, you're not alone. Hell yeah. Mickey Mouse for the win, baby. But wait, that wasn't like him, him. He just... Listen close. The light will never give up on you. Okay. You'll always find it, even in the deepest darkness. I got it. Got it. I won't lose to darkness. Not today. Not today. You think that feeble little light can save you from the darkness that I command? Let's fucking find out, bitch ass hoe. Motherfucking Ansem don't want none. You think you got this, boy? Oh wow, he's actually like the same form as he was when you beat the game of Kingdom Hearts as well. You shall feel the darkness everywhere. Oh, and you shall feel the burn. Give me all you got. I'll give it right back. Oh, yeah. One-liners for the win, baby. All right. When Ansem shows his card, break it wide away. All right. Fair enough. Just going to go straight up attack. This is our first, like, real battle. Wait. Okay. We have some different cards this time around. Oh. What is happening? Rapid break. Quick, quickie break. That should probably be quickly break the opponent's card for a boost in attack. Oh, I see. My bad, then. Not giving up yet. I wonder how much of this you can take. I'm just doing... I'm just doing... I'm just going along until you give up. Alright, well, fuck you too, buddy. Show the same value card as the opponent's and press triangle. Okay. I did press triangle. What the hell? Oh, break. Break all the opponent's cards. Oh, okay. Oh, this is an interesting concept I gotta learn here. Show the same value card as your opponent and press the triangle. Okay. So, you gotta be quick. Alright, fair enough. I need to recharge my cards. Hold on. We got a whole new set of cards here. I gotta get used to this. Oh, I didn't press triangle, genius. I don't have any nines. I do, but they're not in the right fucking place. Okay, we gotta get this right. This game, the game's like, no, you cannot continue on until you do this right. Alright, so hold on. Let's try this again. 
Oh, fucking ass. Alright, hold on. Damn it. Alright, here we go. Nope, missed it. Fuck. It's time to do the do 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 oh, God damn it. Alright, here we go. Nine. Nine. Zero. Oh, too slow. Boo! This is stupid. I should be... Duh. This is frustrating because I thought I... I keep thinking I have this. Nine. 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 There you go. You just gotta break three. Okay. Oh, super awesome. Dual system. Show the same value card as the opponents and press triangle to star. Break all the enemy's cards to execute a slight, but you will need more than eight cards. Okay. Interesting. Good to know. Probably gonna pull that off barely ever, but whatever. At least we know what? we can do something. That all you got? It seems to me that you are intent on resisting the darkness. All right, then see it for yourself. Huh? This is a card crafted from your memory. Advance through the world it creates, and soon you will understand. Soon. Chasing after will light understand. is not the way. It will not give you distance from the darkness. There is no running from the darkness. Don't worry, I'm not running. Give it. Get I'll enter the world, and in the end, if I haven't given in to the darkness, then I win. Damn right, bitch. I have one more gift for you. The hell? What'd you do? I simply tempered the darkness that yet remains in your heart. You still think that I'd rely on darkness? To use it or not is your choice. I'll be waiting. Riku, for you to sense it and yield to the darkness in your heart. Bitch, please. <laughs> Leave my darkness alone. All right, so we got D mode. Activating dark mode. Dark mode can be activated when you have accumulated maximum dark points through card breaks. In dark mode, your skills are powered up and you have more slides to choose from. DP is lost when your card is broken, you receive damage, Riku turns to normal. Okay, so this is gonna be an interesting concept thingy. And we can also boost it through leveling up, so that's good. All right, now we have four new places to go. All righty then. I don't think we're gonna be able to backtrack the exact same way we backtracked, or we went through the castle originally, which is a little disappointing. I was kinda hoping we could go exactly backwards, but I don't think that's gonna be an option. So anyways, let's go to that next floor and see if there's another cutscene, shall we? Oh shit. Oh damn, this is a different guy. This is not the same guy. This is a new guy. He's blue hair. And th ooh, and this guy. Okay, okay. Don't I even warrant a hello, Lexius? Oh, and another one. What is going oh, on shit, here, Zaxian? I want an explanation. Nice to see you too, Vexen. It's such a shame. The organization used to be the rope that bound us together. You're only number six. How dare you? Let it go, Vexen. Zexion, tell us. What did you detect? Visitors. I picked up two scents in the castle's lowest basement. One of them was Maleficent. Don't be absurd. The witch is gone. She cannot return from the realm of darkness of her own volition. If you would let me finish, the scent belonged not to the real Maleficent, but to a very convincing double. But I truly cannot say much beyond that, since the double is no more. Our other visitor saw to that. And who is it? I do not know for sure. But the scent was very similar to that of the superior. And yet, not exactly the same, was it? This truly piques my curiosity. Now, what to do?
we wait, see what develops. Okay, so we got some new organization members here. I mean, Vexen's back. He's not dead yet at this point. I guess this is happening like in parallel with what Sora's doing. Mason, that's what I'm assuming. Something smells funny. Smells like fish. What's that scent? It's so familiar. <gasps> darkness. <laughs> it's the smell of darkness. It smells like darkness. <gasps> <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. The darkness even seeped into my skin. Disgusting. Don't worry, Riku. Oh shit. <gasps> Mickey's like, Your don't Majesty. worry. We're best friends. Are we actually gonna get to see him? Yeah, Mickey, what up? He's still a ghost, but that's cool. Hey, Mickey, what up, dog? <laughs> oh, what happened? I can see right through you. He's dead. Funny, huh? I can only send a bit of my power to this place. That's why I've got a request for you. Request? Listen, Riku. Just because darkness holds you, don't let go of who you are. You've got to fight the darkness inside you. It won't be easy to do, I know. But please don't forget, even in the darkest darkness, there's always a little bit of light. Light within darkness. You and I have seen it. The far welcoming light inside the door to darkness. The light of Kingdom Hearts, it will show you the way. Please don't give up. Believe in the light. That's a request from my heart. Okay. I'll do my best. Trust me. I'll try to find a way to reach you. I'll get there. I promise. Oh. You're an illusion. Uh huh. Made you look. Or don't whatever. Don't worry. We shook hands in our hearts, remember? <laughs> Don't worry. I did that me. on purpose because it yes, was funny. Are. And then he disappears. Well then, at least we have one friend, even if he's not even there as a sentient, well, sentient? Uh, a actual physical being. That's cool. All right, so we're done there. First, first floor of the... Uh, the Castle Oblivion from this side is complete. That's good to know. That is good to know. Well then, I guess we're ready to move on to the next floor, but what floor shall we make it, and how much of it will I actually show? I may show a couple battles just because I want to see what kind of new stuff I'm capable of doing now. Do I have new cards? Like, I haven't gotten any cards yet. The cards just automatically get given to you for the rest of the game? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, our choices are Agrabah, Traverse Town, Everland, and Monstro. Actually, we can go backwards. Neverland was the last one. Let's go backwards. Fuck it. At least go backwards as much as we can. Neverland was definitely the last one we did. Right? Yeah, because it's Neverland, then it's, uh... Freaking, uh, Atlantica? Or... Yeah? I don't know. Whatever. We're doing Neverland. Definitely was the last one after we did... or before we did Hollow Bastion when we were Sora. Anyway, it won't work out perfectly, but we're doing Neverland first. Key to the Beginnings is automatically ours, huh? We don't even have to go through a cutscene. Fine with me. Alright. Well, I'll either show a battle or I won't, but we're gonna go to the Key to the Beginnings door immediately. Um, I imagine we're just gonna fight a bunch of enemies that we've already fought, so I, that's like, I don't even want to show the enemies. All I really want to show is, do I have some slights or anything like that? Like, do I have anything cool? Uh, I guess I'll show this first battle just because it looks like we get some D points. Let's see how this works. Maybe we can actually show. Oh, we have Mickey as a support thing. What's this do? Come on! Oh, nice. Nice, Mickey. You're the man. You're the man, Mickey. You're the man. I don't know what purpose that really served, but I'll take it. Glad we got some zero cards finally, too. That's going to help us get a lot more breaks than we were getting earlier. Nice. And a level up already. Oh, shit. We got the darkness. Oh yeah, uh, man, I didn't even get to really utilize it that much. Oh well. Alright, I'm gonna go straight darkness boost. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it every time, so we're just gonna start with it first thing as we go. 
Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna probably use plenty of our new abilities in battle, in boss battles and stuff, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. From here on, I just meet you at the story stuff, because who cares? Alright, here we are. The key to the beginning door. And apparently on the map, from what I could tell, there's only one door to open. Like, this is the only door on the map. At least, like, gold door is what I mean. Like, there's no other gold door. So once you open this, see the cutscene, and then we're done here? Is there gonna be a fight? Like, anything? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, apparently we were immediately thrust into a battle. Interesting. Oh, with Captain Hook, of all people. Well then, time to use all of our new abilities against Mr. Hook. Alright, throw down time, baby. Here we go. Get some. Get some, Hookopotamus. Get some. I have not been very good at this so far. Oh, fuck. Come on, man. Let's duel. Let's time to... Oh, fuck. I'm screwed. Yeah, I'm screwed. I don't, ha I don't have any of my cards I need to duel them. Alright, let's do this. Here we go. Break them. Uh, Alright, got him. Oh, shit. He's got more. What? You can't have more? Okay, that I was not expecting. I was expecting him to only have two. Shit, man. Can I fucking get a fucking dodge up in this bitch? Alright. Alright, here we go. This is what we need right here, though. Oh, god. Damn it. Use a fucking slight. There we go. Oh, Jesus. He broke me. What? Dude, what the fuck? Why is his slight so good? Dude, give me a zero card. Fucking zero this bitch out, please. Fucking ass, dude. He had such a good fucking slight. That's not cool. Bro, dude. Captain. Bitch. Captain, bitch. Wow, I'm not very good at fighting Captain, bitch over here. Nope. Well, we'll break it with that. Alright, well, I'm not very good at fighting Captain, bitch. If that's not abundantly clear. Uh, not very good indeed. Alright, well, let's probably lock onto him. That might actually help a little bit. Man. That slide is, like, ridiculous. Why is it so strong? The only way to break it is with a zero card. Like, I don't have any other cards to break that kind of shit. Alright, let's see if we can get a... Uh... Man. Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> Fucking ass. Alright, here we go. Shit, we got a duel. I don't have a, I don't have the cards for this. Fuck, man! I'm out of cards already. I'm gonna die. I have no cards. This is actually a lot harder than I thought I was gonna be. Motherfucker. That's all right. I got my ass handed me by that asshole. We'll try that again, cause man, that was tough. He had a lot of zero cards, man. All right. I need. I was just going ape shit. It's my own fault. I gotta play more strategic this time. Let's be more. Let's be smarter about the cards we use, shall we? You know what I haven't done? I haven't even checked to see if I can edit my deck. I should do that. If I lose, if I lose again, I'll look at it and see maybe if I can reorder it to be something a little more. I don't know, something I can scroll through a little easier. Because at this point, it's hard for me to scroll through shit when it's all mixed up. You know? Damn it! Ah, he's so fast. All right, here we go. Here we go. Duel, duel, shit, 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 zero, oh my god. Fuck! I can't, mm! I'm frustrated right now. Damn it, he's trying to play the fucking, fucking break that one. Just break him. Dude, I can, can I, please just fucking play the right card? Okay. Right, here we go. All right, zero that bitch. Five it. Seven it. Nine it. Uh, yes, we finally broke him. Damn, you have to do five in a row. Damn. All right, well that was cool. Fuck you and your zero card, man. There we go. Got the darkness. There we go. This is what we need right here. This is what we need right here. This is what we need right here, baby. There it is. This is the fucking victory. Fucking run right here. Fuck yeah, all you had to do, combo, darkness, wreckage. Ugh. I'm getting a little bit better at it. Fuck Captain Hook. Piece of shit. Man, I'm kind of glad I fought him now and not later. If I would have saved him for later, he would have been harder. 
Captain Hook, as annoying as he was in the original, run with Sora. Booyah. Eat dicks, Captain Hook. Eat dicks. All right. Looking good, baby. All right. I'm probably going to keep going Darkness Boost until I at least get to 20 DP. I've just been doing all of my level ups on Darkness Boost, by the way. I haven't used it on anything else. All right. Are we done here already in Neverland? Like, we're just going to head to the fucking door out of here? Or what, what happens now? I just got to walk my ass to the exit? Guess so, huh? All right. I'll just meet you at the exit, which I assume is this way. Yeah. All right, here I am. The door is open. Let's just go. It's the northernmost room. It's the Conqueror's Respite. Let's see where this leads. Will it lead us to victory or will it lead us to defeat? Will it lead us to boss fight or will it lead us just to the next floor? All of that remains to be seen through the next door. But I am going to heal. Not really worried about saving it because boss fight or no, we're definitely gonna get to save it again in a second once we actually see what happens which I guarantee we're gonna have at least one cutscene right I don't know if we're gonna fight anything but at least tell me we're gonna have a cutscene when we get to the next room no maybe kinda hopefully hopefully there we go I have identified the scent. It is Riku. Riku, you say? Has he emerged from the realm of darkness? His existence, it was once doubled in the darkness. Fascinating. That's why you mistook him for the superior. The dark power given to Riku facilitated his escape from its realm. What I want to know is... Why he appeared here in Castle Oblivion? That's really quite simple. His existence resonates with that of another hero. Sora is in the castle? He arrived earlier. Marluxia is already using Namine's unique powers to meddle with Sora's heart. Without even bothering to consult us. It seems he desperately wants the Keyblade Master for himself. What a foolish plan indeed. Sora's is not such an interesting existence. The entity that holds true value is Riku, the Hero of Darkness. Hmm. Riku, the Hero of Darkness. That's actually the first time you would hear that if you had never played Kingdom Hearts 2. That's for sure. Not, I, actually, I don't even think in Kingdom Hearts 2 they call him the Hero of Darkness, but, you know, he's he's the one that lives in the darkness. He's fucking Bane of this story. Anyway, so I guess we just have cutscene and no fight. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, see, this is why I'm glad I'm doing an abridged version of this, because I knew there'd be a lot of this, where there'd just be cutscenes but nothing interesting. Or even, like, the f going through the areas that are Disney worlds. That, like, Riku doesn't have any real memories of there. We're just going in, fighting a boss, and moving on to the next floor. I don't know if every world's going to be that way, but... I feel like most of them will be. Either way, in the next episode, I shall uh, move on to the next floor. So I will see you guys then. Peace.